Leo, this is my Shia and Sham Shalaka. Let's see what is your situation on Sapna and what you need to hear from me. Leo's out there, so I'm gonna rise in Leo. What you need to hear from me right now? Just one more time. Leo's out there. What you need to hear right now? Your first card is the Page of Pentacles. There is something out there which you feel has the potential, okay? Uh, some kind of an opportunity. When you think about it, you feel like it has a potential, okay? Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius, the King of Swords, or you're coming through as the King of Swords, who's assessing this opportunity. What else? Leo's out there. What else? Your next card is a Nine of Swords. You're very stressed out right now. Some of you might be losing your sleep over this. How to go about this situation? How do I handle this? Okay? Uh, you're very stressed. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, probably a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. I also get this um, phrase, handle with care. Like you're stressed as if it's very fragile. Handle with care. For some reason, when I'm looking at the page of pentacles, you have to, you know, it's, it's very delicate somehow. Whatever that situation is, it's very delicate. So how do you um, take it forward? You need to really be careful. Just saying. Maybe that's what is stressing you out. Yes, page of wands. When I looked at the Six of Pentacles, it was about, you know, you want to initiate. You want to reach out. Take the chance to reach out. That is why I was getting the feeling, you know, handle with care. Like, you know, you stressed with the, uh, just thinking how you're going to handle it. How, you know, I, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to f literally fuck it up. You know? So, you, um, it seems like, You're waiting for things to happen, okay? And you are the one who's initiating this. You are the one who's reaching out. Even when I saw the Knight of Wands, yeah? You are the one who's going out there. Reaching out to the other person. And you want to do it right. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. And I also get it... Um, Things are not going very well right now. If it's a relationship situation, you're not together anymore, but you want to reach out to the other person. Okay? Things might have been really rough, but you want to make it right. And it stresses you out just thinking, how do I make the right move? Yeah, it's a delicate situation. Because the uh, page of wands speaks about it's a messenger energy. Yeah? There is potential there. You're reaching out. But you want to do it right. Hmm. Moving on, Leos. What else? What else? Let's just keep it aside. Uh, your next card is this one. Which speaks about just charging in there. Okay, this is again a communication card. This is um, somebody who's not thinking anymore. That's it. I'm, I, you know, very abrupt. Like, I'm not going to think anymore. I'm just a very action-oriented card. I don't want to sit waiting 
anymore. I'm just going to charge in there and do what I got to do. That kind of energy. Very fast moving energy. Somebody who's very rash, who doesn't think too much. Because they want to make things right. They want to bring a balance within the current situation. When I told you things might be rough right now, that is why this, these cards are all speaking about you wanting to reach out. Okay? Again, if the story makes sense and you are waiting for the other person to return, you know how it works, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be your side of the story. It could be the cross watcher story. Okay? So don't tell me, no, I'm going to, I'm not going to do, uh, you know, reach out to them. They have to reach out. Maybe they are the one who is thinking to do this. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini energy. Or a Sagittarius. Yes. If you look at this card, fast moving energy. This card speaks about being in limbo. So that's, when I spoke about this, this person doesn't want to, you know, just lay there anymore. Just sit there and, you know, wait for things to resolve by, you know, by itself. No. They're done, you know, being in limbo. There is a stagnancy which was going on. But this person cannot handle this anymore. They want to do something about it. All right. Moving on. What else, Leo? What else? See, I spoke about, you know, things are not going well. You know, you have rough times. You are, in, you know, in rough times right now. This is how it is. Some of you might feel a bit right. Some of you might feel you're out in the cold. You separated. All that. Again, a Taurus energy. Your next card is this one, though. Queen of Cups. Emotionally, you're losing it. Okay? Like, you're on the edge. With this Knight of, uh, Nine of Swords, you're on the edge. You cannot stop thinking about, you know, what's going on in your life. How screwed up things are. And you want to turn things around. You want to turn the wheel in your favor to better times. You want to move out from that five pentacle situation. You don't want to be stuck in there anymore with that hangman and the five pentacles. Not anymore. But you're stressed out. Oh, well, actually. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian. You really want to turn the wheel. That's why you are the one trying to initiate. Because you feel there is a potential. There is a chance out there to make things right. What is your last card, Leo? I'm only pulling out five cards this time. Yeah. It's been a struggle. It's been challenging. It's like you're carrying a, you know, a cross on your back. It's been very overwhelming. How things are right now, it's, it's just too much. Okay, your next card is this one though. You're taking your chances. The full card speaks about, uh, it's a card number zero. So it's like starting over again, starting fresh. Hmm? The full card speaks about jumping off the cliff. Taking your chances, taking a leap of faith. That is why you're rushing in. Sorry, you're rushing in with the Knight of Swords. You want to take that chance. If there is a chance, I'm going to grab that chance. Because I want to be back with you. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Yes, you're not giving up. Even if the other person is like... Eh, you're not giving up. You're willing to put up the fight. Even if it's a lost cause, lost battle, you're just not giving up. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. 
So remember, it could be your story or the cross watcher's story. Don't bash me up. That's it. That's it for now. This is Marisha, you are my channel Shaloka. Until next week, bye.